Hi guys, welcome to this week's screencast which is on muscle fibre type and exercise intensity. Now over the past two lessons we've looked at antagonistic muscle pairs, so agonist, antagonist, synergistic fixator, as well as a type of muscular contractions that we have as well, such as concentric, eccentric and isometric. So where we're at today is muscle fibre types. So all of the skeletal muscle in our body are made up of muscle fibres, and these fibres fall into two main categories depending on their speed of contraction. So we have slow twitch and fast twitch. But obviously we need to know the kind of academic terms for these fibres and link them to sporting um, events. First of all, I want you, for your corner notes, if you forget myoglobin, so all I want you to write down is aerobic work, anaerobic work, slow oxidative muscle fibres, which is type 1, so slow oxidative, fast oxidative glycolytic fibres, or type 2A, and finally fast glycolytic muscle fibres, type 2B, and then mitochondria. So if you pause this and get those down. Right, okay, so this may be a typical exam question you may um, get in the summer. So for one mark, identify the predominant muscle fibre type used by a discus throw to achieve maximum distance. And then again, for two marks, explain how the function of this type, this fibre type suits the performance of discus thrower. So hopefully by the end of Thursday's lesson, we'll be able to answer these as well as many more questions referring to muscle fibre types. First of all, aerobic work and anaerobic work. So aerobic work, low intensity, long duration exercise in the presence of oxygen. So in your core now notes, you've got on the right hand side, aerobic work as your title. Underneath aerobic work, you'll have low intensity, long duration exercise in the presence of oxygen. Remember, please, on the left hand side, create yourself a question that will help you remember aerobic work. So example of aerobic long duration would be marathon running, for example. And there's Mo Farah for you in that picture. So Anaerobic work, we've got high intensity, short duration exercise in the absence of oxygen. So once again, underneath anaerobic work, and you call it nature, you'll have that statement, and on the left-hand side, create yourself a question for it. And here's a shot put thrower who would use anaerobic metabolism or anaerobic respiration. So on to the actual muscle fibre types that I want you to know for, before we come into lesson. First of all, we have slow oxidative, which is also known as, known as type 1. It's a type of muscle fibre rich in mitochondria, myoglobin and capillaries, which produces a small amount of force over a long period of time, slow to fatigue. The main key points here are type of muscle fibre, um, which produces a small amount of force over a long period of time, slow to fatigue. Example for athletes that would use slow oxidative type 1 muscle fibres would be marathon runners or long distance cyclists such as the Tour de France athletes. Football players would as well, so rugby players, and so on. Fast oxidative glycolytic, or just fast oxidative fibres, or type 2A. A type of muscle fibre that are fast contracting, produce high force, and are also resistant to fatigue. So the type of athletes, or the type of sporting events that we're going to refer to here are events such as the 800 metres. So almost middle distance 400 metres as well. They're the type of events we're looking at for fast oxidative glycolytic. And then finally, the third one, fast glycolytic type 2X. You need to know it as. These types of muscle fibre are rich in phosphocreatine, which produce a maximal force over a short period of time and fatigue quickly. So the events we're looking at in shot put, for example, as I've shown you on the previous page, but also the 100 metre sprints javelin throw, long jump, anything that is using a maximal force over a short period of time. So they're the muscle fibre types. Finally, key terms, mitochondria. So what is mitochondria? Mitochondria is a structure in the sarcoplasm responsible for aerobic energy production. Hence why there's plenty of mitochondria in a slow twitch muscle fibre, but they are not found in fast glycolytic muscle fibres. Because fast glycolytic muscle fibres are anaerobic work, they do not need aerobic work, they do not work with oxygen. So if you could get those down, I'll appreciate it and I'll see you in lesson on Thursday. Thank you, bye.